previously in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from the Tristan Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect? You give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's okay. Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, what is up? It's your boy Spinning Win, and as you can tell, we are doing the F123 Breaking Point 2. Um, I don't think I really did Breaking Point for F120, was it F122 or 21? I don't remember. Don't think I did much of it, <clears throat> but here we are. Uh, let's get right into it, man. Let's not wait. What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. <laughs> when did you first get a sense of what was in store for Consport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aiden Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connorsport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connorsport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. <coughs> Alrighty, finish the race. Shouldn't be a little hard. Nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. Alrighty. So, like you see, our objective this race is to just finish. Um, obviously, I want to do more than finish. I want us to do really good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and do better. Try and get some good finishes. So now that's holding us up a little bit. Let's get around him. We're wasting a little bit of our time there. <laughs> Dealing with him. We're all good though. Oh, we're just a little bit. 
Ooh. Ooh. Fighting the wheel a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yep, the goal is to finish, and I'm really making that hard on myself, aren't I? So we got Schumacher and Alonso ahead, and as we remember, this is technically 2022 season, so Schumacher is still in the car. So I get a two for one here. Don't try to take it. Oh, don't hit me, buddy. Got around Alonzo for P11. Now we're trying to get to Norris and Bottas. Whoa. Some brake lock up up there. A little sloppy driving on my part. <clears throat> but it's only like my couple of days on this game, honestly. So, still trying to learn the mechanics behind it. Stuff like that. Let's see. Whoops, 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 whoops. Gotta go a little faster, buddy. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Gonna dive it inside. What the f scared the shit out of me. Oh, I got loose. almost killed him. God, who was that? That was Ocon. God, scared the shit out of me, bro. Get some clean air. Make some work. Ooh. <clears throat> so Ocon got the sauce on. Not too worried about it. Honestly. We'll do work of our own real quick. Try and get up to uh, Perez and or Perez, whatever, and Hamilton. Well, we got about seven laps to go. About to be six. <clears throat> BRS is enabled, or not, ERS, I'm sorry, ERS enabled, <clears throat> didn't have any BRS right there, so kind of, kind of, oh, now we got to get the Hamilton then for Perez. See, that needs to be fixed, the tire smoke and all that, I don't, I don't know how you lock up going, you know, we're going to send it. Got uh, a Lewis. Nice uh, got a little wide right there. That's okay. We're gonna get some DRS. We're gonna get DRS off press, I believe, right? Here we are. Yeah, we are draining battery, but that's okay. We're gonna try and get them right here. Yeah, we're gonna get them. And now we gotta get to Gasly. We're making really good work here, bro. Making really good work. <clears throat> Just gotta get around Gasly right here. Don't you, don't you defend. Hey! No damage, right? Yeah, no damage. Now we're on the move. Nine 
so we got Butler as our teammate again, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> I was hoping we didn't have to deal with Bro again, but we got to deal with him. He's going to be an issue for us this year. So that's great. It's just more freaking Devin Butler. We are making some time, though. We're fifth right now. Um, somewhat gaining on signs, I guess. Or not signs. Russell. Gaining on Russell a little bit. Uh, basically drank all our batteries, so no use in that. Hit the pylon, whoops. We have some good work right there. <clears throat> yeah, we got uh, Gasly right there. Oh, he's going to still get DRS technically because of... Oh, okay. Joking me. Okay, I'm afraid you're gonna have to retire the car, please, Aiden. Retire the car. Uh, you're joking! I'm sorry, Aiden. Pull over now, please. Pull over now. This is getting ridiculous. And that's agonizing for Jackson. Did all that work for nothing? To go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Uh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts him in a position <sighs> where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job, you got me. Well, that's, that, that's just so unfortunate. Frustrating as well. We had a top five in the bag, and uh, we ran into that issue. <clears throat> One thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh God, he's there's here. a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devin. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems with that. Smooth. You know what they say? A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup decks at any time you want. I told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is Jackson. That was the problem with the 2022 season. Oh, I hate you, bro. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And stupid cat affects Aiden. <laughs> That's no secret. Uh, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. God. Ah. Let's look at the news. Uphill struggles at Connor Sport. The challenges of setting up a Formula F1 team. But as we all know, any newcomers will always face it. Okay, looks up. I think it'll tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Akamon won't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. You know he told me the same, right? It's just, 
It's just tricky, what with the car and Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with Devin. Tell him to give you some space, both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, all right. Good luck with that. All right, well, where were we? But as we all know, any newcomers will always face an uphill struggle to compete on an even footing with their more experienced and well-established con contemporaries. There we go. <clears throat> Which is only one of the many challenges the current sport are currently facing. Formed by Andreo Connor, the owner and CEO of the globally recognized Connor Sport brand, this racing team is an outfit and well, with a lot to prove. Yet with a car that is showing all the signs common to a fear uh, of a fled fledgling team of constant recurring faults that have marred or that have marred almost every race since the start of the season. The question still remains, will Connor Sport have the fortitude to succeed where others have failed or will they be left spinning their wheels? Hmm. Well we'll find out. <clears throat> Sorry if I got none of those words right. I, I, I'm I not an English profession or anything like that. So if I pronounce something wrong, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not. The, I'm an American, but uh, my English is poor because I'm not the best English. Um, got some of the goats in here, Arava. Um, got grumpy old fan. We saw Tim up there. Or is that not Tim? Sorry. Uh, Fucking, what's his name? Is it Ben? I think his name's Ben. No, I'm not trying to. Johnny Hate is just not. Tommy T. Oh, David. And then emails. Uh, we don't really care to really read all this. Let's go on to the next chapter. Canadian Grand Prix, six weeks later. Connor Sports' maiden season continues, continues to be marred by inconsistency, but team principal Andre O'Connor remains hopeful that their luck will start to change at the paddock heads to Montreal. <coughs> I'm the boss. You're the boss throughout the course of breaking point two. You will not only control the drivers, but also Connor Sport team principal Andrew O'Connor. During these visits to the team data center, or center Andrea will have to make difficult decisions covering a range of topics during department events. Got you. How you choose to respond to those events will have a direct effect on many things such as your performance and reputation. There may even affect they or they may even affect bonus objectives for upcoming hey, races. With this being their home circuit, Stroll and Latifi have all been or have been all over local media this weekend. One particular outlet appeared bent on using our recent struggles to pump up the expectations of the home drivers. They indicated that Connor Sport were easy fodder for the Canadian pair and that our drivers shouldn't put up much. Get out of here, bro. Devon was on a popular streamer's channel earlier this week and promised a behind the scenes tour of our factory for next Thursday. The clashes with our scheduled team building days for the engineers back at the factory. Normally, I would say that we don't let Devon's fights or flights of fancy interfere with our plans but that video has received a lot of views the streamer has contacted us to confirm the tour what course of action would you like to take we got to do team building bro i'm sorry we'll have to cancel the uh tour and, and worry about the team meeting now listen bro sorry to devin but we playing it like we have to who is calling? Who? Oh my God. Andreo, just going over those uh, last-minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear. Whatever happens out there today, I get fit priority. Yeah? This guy. Well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, go get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. We all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to. Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course. Yeah, so, uh, it's priority, yeah? All right, ciao. Wait, Davidoff Butler, he is... Uh oh
Okay, so I guess Davidoff is Devin's dad or something. He seems like it. He's got that, like, the email basically gave that, uh, I don't know, dad-like feeling. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. Nice and pretty tight here. They continue onwards, still will to will, almost touching there as well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Don't wreck it, guys. We tell you we gotta bring it home. I, oh my God. Okay, they kept going, though. Kept going, though. That was not good, but fuck I Devin Butler. Who, who likes Butler, bro? Who likes Devin Butler? Uh, Devin Butler deserved it, though. Primary objective, and claim 13th place before the end of the race. Down. We'll look at it in the debrief later, but right now I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. Alright, let's get to work. 13, 5 seconds, that's gonna be easy. Whoa, my car didn't turn right there. I was trying to uh, try to like show my nose a little more, but I couldn't get down there. I had to get a little, <clears throat> a little aggressive right there, but that's okay. I just got doing these things. Oh, overdrive. That's the uh that's who we need to get to the TV. Because the fan favorite. We want to get the fan favorite. <clears throat> Poor Latifi by the way, man. Really loved the guy. Wasn't the best, but loved him. Didn't want to get a thing there. I'm on hard by the way. Is this how it's supposed to act on hard? All right, we gotta get to, uh, who is this, Ocon again? This time you're not coming off the pit, so I don't have a problem almost hitting you. Where we gonna go? Got a little close to the wall right there. Just making sure we had the uh, move done on him. Which we did. So bam bam. I've also got my goals completely like off. Um, I know I'm probably supposed to have those on but they're just kind of in the way. So. For people wondering, yes, I, uh, there's a reason my goals aren't showing up. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Damn, bro! Why don't you give me no space? Anyways, we got it, but like, dang. Now we're trying to get <clears throat> trying to get the land though. Try to get to Lando. Who else is there? Guan Yu Joe. <clears throat> I think I said that right.
Make up all this time. I feel alive. Oh, they're not. Oh, hit the ball a little bit. We're all good though. They're gonna slow down. He's gonna have to slow down a little early. Oh, Charles Leclerc is up the race. Oh, wow. What? Wow. Where is he retired at? All right there. Okay, clear. They did him dirty with that, by the way. They did him so dirty with that. They knew what they was doing. You can't tell me you didn't, they didn't know what he was doing with that. Bam bam. Up to P10 and we gotta get to the next fan favorite, Lance Stroll. Okay, you're in the top ten. Drive it up the inside, cleared him. Man, I'm really playing with the throttle here. Whoa. What happened? What happened? I don't know what happened. Whoa, why am I spinning? Why am I spinning? Why am I just starting to spin? Alright, <clears throat> that did not happen. That did not happen. Y'all literally saw nothing. Literally saw nothing. I don't know if I just got it. I just wasn't focused right there or what, but that was weird. <clears throat> Why do I not have ERS? A little bit of a DRS train okay, going. Just two laps of fuel remaining now. Alright, <clears throat> let's try and get six from Gasly, and then we'll be on our way. Trying to keep it within the white lines, as they say. Oh man, I almost hit him. Alright, let's get the run. Let's, let's say go! We could actually get the Fernando here if we really push. Okay, mate, final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home.
as uh, Jarno says, let me cook. Let me cook. I love that guy. Oh, well, don't let me cook. I have that up. Ah, I'm not going to get the DRS, bro. No. We're gonna have to drain here, just have a shot. What a move! What a move! Oh my god. Oh, that was so good. Woo! That was so good. P5, P5. Ah, we don't gotta watch this. So we already know how these scenes go. Nothing ever changes. Jackson and Butler from the past two seasons seem to be alive and well, even when there's teammate, even when they're teammates. Their unwillingness to cede position to each other at the Canadian Grand Prix is a bad look for Connor Sport. It really is. If I gotta be honest, it really is. Um, I think we're gonna take it right there. I think we're gonna end the chapter right there. Or in the video right here. We got two chapters down. Um, oh, let's take this real quick. Aiden, just, uh, just a heads up. We're putting the debrief in back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. If Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how you run a team. You know this. Of course. It's just... Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to them. Come on now. Sure. See you at the debrief. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're going to wrap it up right there, guys. That was chapters one and two of the um, Breaking Point um, two episodes. Uh, or chapters uh i'll have chapters three and four out tomorrow appreciate you guys for watching man and i hope you have a great day stay blessed